So we'll try this one more time. Hopefully the dogs won't interrupt. Yes, I have crazy hair and dandruff. That's great. Um, I am here again playing. If you recognize this company, who this company was, uh, I already like you. I'm here with uh, this stupid Fleur 1 Gen 2. I've torn it apart. If you intend to tear yours apart as well, there are some pieces of tape here. Some pieces of tape here. They fit in the box like yay. So uh, I used a razor blade to gently pull back the adhesive and then kind of finagle it up. If you pull it uh, to your right with the port facing to the bottom, you'll see and expose the leads on the battery. Uh, the battery is just held in there by a push uh, connector. Uh, but before you can pull that out, You'll notice a little black piece of tape that is stuck on the top of that. Uh, and also, if you would like to, you don't have to, uh, there is this uh, copper heat sink. I only pulled it off to uh, kind of take a gander at what was going on here uh, with the CMOS imager, imaging devices, etc., whatever you, you call them. I don't know. I mean, I, I know enough about some of this crap in here to get myself in trouble, but not enough uh, to be uh, an electrical engineer by any means <clears throat> um, so uh, that being said uh, what I believe I've determined and this is all due to when you plug it in you get a uh, orange light only and the device will not actually turn on uh, what I believe the problem is happens to be that chip right there for whatever management power management uh, uh, setup or features were uh, intended for this device because uh, get three volts on that side and where the leads at going out for the ground you get nada nada oh. is it on the resistor there's a little there's little tiny resistors two little tiny resistors right here and here um, but whatever the case be, it should actually be on this side, uh, that we're passing, uh, power through. So, uh, the leads for the battery are connected here and here on this side of the chip and on this side of this chip, it looks like two tiny resistors without having my, uh, magnifying glass or spy glass power goes in on this side and uh, small switching occurs in here to send power out on this side and the same thing on this uh, power goes in on this side small switching ground uh, some of that's for power in uh, has to switch back for uh, power in so when you're putting the USB on here it needs to be able to uh, switch uh, these uh, chips to switch the power to charge the battery and then uh, when it's charged and you unplug it uh, it needs to be able to switch again back to bring the power out of the lead into uh, the device so you can actually operate the device. I don't think the device is actually bad. Uh, I, I believe that the battery, uh, even though it has three, uh, what I'm, I'm gonna guess it's it fully charged, it's 3.7 volts and they're close, they're close to it enough that it, uh, the device should power on. Um, but unfortunately, uh, the Angry Pixies here are not transferred over here. But I bet you if I finagled the wires off of the leads directly, I could get power to this device. And I just don't have any small, uh, small enough. Setups for that right now. I just wanted to give you a quick update and uh, Give you an idea about how to tear that apart. I might actually try to go out and, uh, oop, wrong way, go out and try to find 
uh, a battery, a new battery online. So I'm gonna blame it on whatever circuitry is here. And I love how that zooms in just, just absolutely perfect. Yeah, smooth mobile. Yeah, the smooth mobile uh, device. There you can see them a little better. You can see those little, those little chips a little better. Come on now, come on, come on. You can do it. You you can do it. Uh, the smooth mobile app is seems like it's got some ways to go. Uh, hopefully, you're having a better evening than me. Uh, that's not a terrible evening, but. Uh, you know, uh, I believe the device actually works, and I think I may take an opportunity to bypass um, those chips and see if I can fry this whole thing out with three volts right to it. I, I have to get my magnifying glass out and see if they actually are reducing power. Maybe I can I can just steal the power from after the resistors uh, and see if I can dig out a better. Uh, better multi-tool for uh, diagnosing what's going on there. In the meantime, I'm going to go out to the internet and look for a battery. Maybe you want to do the same thing. It might be easier. Uh, what's written on this is SDL-35205T. It's 350 milliamps, which is a crappy, crappy little tiny battery at 3.7 volts. Uh, that's basically, uh, that's not even three AAAs inside uh inside that uh, device uh, so it's like one and a half <laughs> that's funny uh, two I'm sorry two and a quarter or less with uh, out breaking the calculator out have a great evening